we've installed LSPDFR, we've installed vehicles, we've installed guns. But what about clothing? What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another LSPDFR video. Today I'm going to be going through how we can install EUP or Emergency Uniforms Pack for GTA 5. So first of all, head to your browser and type in EUP menu. LSPDFR and you want to click EUP menu, script modifications and plugins, lcpdfr.com. From here, I know it's the real deal. So what we want to do is we want to click download, agree and download, and then just save it to a place of your choosing. So uh, for me, I'm going to save it on my desktop. So save, and it'll download just here for me. Next, press the back button, go back to the main page here, and then scroll down a little bit and you'll see two more files. Now, what are these? Law and Order and Serve and Rescue. So Law and Order is what will give us our presets for our uh, law enforcement officers. Serve and Rescue covers things like fire, medics, uh, private security, things like that. So for today, we are going to download both of these files. So just click download on the first one. If you'd like to have a look at what these files include, you can look on the pictures and it will show you what's included with the download. Download this file and we're looking for the .oiv file. So click download and that will save it again. Uh, just choose where you're going to remember it. So again, desktop, somewhere that's got easy access. Okay. And then you want to download the serve and rescue pack as well. And we just do the same thing. We can have a look at what's included with the pictures. But you do want to just download it to a place you're going to find it quite easily. And again, it's going to be the .oiv file. So again, just, I'm going to save that to my desktop. And there we go. So I'll click save and that will download. So once that's done, you want to find EUP menu. Open that up. You'll be presented with two files. Click files. And you'll say plugins and rage native ui.dll. So you want to open up your GTA 5 main folder. So for me, mine is C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. And then all we do is just drag and drop plugins and rage native ui.dll from the download into your GTA 5 main folder. And that will then create a folder if you haven't already so click plugins EUP and you want to go to settings and then you want to see what your menu toggle key is and this is a key we will use to uh, open up EUP menu and have a look at our characters so once you have done that so I'm just going to do that now you can close both of those because we don't need those at the moment you want to open up open IV Go to Grand Theft Auto 5 and Windows. And then remember the pretty coloured little button from our modding DLC pack 5 video? Click the blue, red and green button here. And you want to install this file here, EUP LO 8.3. So then click install. Remember, always select mods folder. If you do not select mods folder, then it will installing your main folder and if something goes wrong you will need to reinstall your game so click mods install and that will then run the installer for you so while that's running i'm just going to quickly check the file here that's fine there we go sorry about that so that might take a little minute just to install so once that's installed click close and then press the little blue red green button again and then install this file eup SR 1.5 and same again install mods folder and then install and that will install EUP serve and rescue into your mods folder and that to be fair ladies and gentlemen that is it for installing EUP so without further ado let's get the game loaded up and see what we've just installed okay so we have booted up GTA 5 so what you want to do is press your menu key, so by default it is F11, and you're presented with EUP menu and four options, characters, wardrobe, law and order, serve and rescue. 
So under characters, you can create your very own character. So we're going to call them, I'm going to call them Isabel. Exactly the same, but I'm just going to call them Isabel 1. Uh, you can choose male, female, you can select your heritage between different parents and mothers and fathers. A lot like the GTA 5 online character creation. And there are a couple of parents missing from uh, the selection from online. Um, but again, you get pictures of your mother, your father, and you can just create your character sort of base on them. They have really wide eyes. Uh, there we go. 10 and 12. You can select the resemblance to the mother or the father based on their appearance. Oh, that is full father. That is full mother. So again, you just sort of pick and choose a two skin tone based on the mother or the father. Again, we're gonna sort of leave it right in the middle for both of those. Once you've done that, if you go to features, you can change their eyebrows. You can move them in, out, up, down. I mean, it'd be useful if my character actually had any eyebrows to show for herself. You can choose the eyes, whether you want to make them wider, whether you want to make them narrower. So again, I think we're going to go sort of about, about there, maybe a little less. Let me take it all the way up to wide. I mean, okay, yeah, that is really wide. Holy mackerel. Alright, so we'll take it slow. About middle? About middle. Uh, the nose, you can do the width, uh, the narrowness, you can how high you want it on the face, whether you want it really high up, really low down. Again, I think we're just going to sort of stick with middle. Uh, you can do the profiling. So the profile in sort of the, the end of the nose. Uh, sorry, no. Profile is similar to how the nose looks. Uh, nose tip is the end of the nose. And as we move that, you can see how that physically changes. Broken? No, we're not going to have any broken noses. Then we're just going to sort of leave it centred. you got your cheekbones, whether you want them out, in, up, down. So for me, I normally tend to just sort of leave things how they are. Uh, then you've got your cheeks, the actual physical cheeks, whether you want them puffy or gaunted. So I guess like really tight in. Like that, uh, that'll do. You've got lips, whether you want fat lips, like uh, Botox, I guess, if that's your thing. Uh, thin lips. Again, I think sort of the middle will be fine. Got your jawline, so I normally go narrow rounded jaw, something like that. My eyes are really wide again, so we're gonna bring that down a bit. Hopefully that sorts that out. Like she just looks like she's completely on something. Uh, chin profile, so whether you want your chin up, down, whether you want it pointy or rounded. Uh, sorry, that comes under chin shape. Again, you just full on create your character based on how you want them to look. Now, unfortunately, if you've already created a character with LSPDFR, you cannot import it into EUP. So, if you wanted to do an, a replica character, you can sort of find your character's information and try and replicate it the best you can. Otherwise, go for new, create a brand new character so we've done heritage features appearance hairstyle I personally I mean that's not a top knot um pixie we go for like a golden blonde colour let's have a look The feather in the hair is quite nice. Twisted Bob. T 
pipe bun. Messy bun. Ah. Screw it. We'll go with pixie. Uh, eyebrows. Oh, I do want to change the colour, actually. Bright blonde. No. Brunette. Dirty blonde. I don't know. It, again, you know, you've got full creativity over the character that you want to create. So eyebrows, again, you can uh, change the type of eyebrows you have. So we're just going to go balanced for now and then we're going to create our eyebrows so that they match our coloured hair. you got skin blemishes, where you want them spotty, pimples, spots. I'm quite a nice clean person so I'll go for none. You've got ageing, so whether you want wrinkles. I mean, she looks really old now. Again, we're going to go for none. Complexation. Again, sunburn, bruised, alcoholic, patchy, totem, blood vessels, damaged, pale. I tend to, again, just keep them on non. Um, moles and freckles. Again, you know, you can create yourself in game, you can create someone completely new. It's completely your choice. You have full control over the character you create. We're going to go ocean blue eyes. Uh, lipstick. We're going to go colour matte. And although to be fair, that's not changing. Ah, interesting. So maybe lipstick may not work. Not to worry. Uh, you got your makeup. If you, well, make yeah, because I'm pretty sure the male characters can have makeup as well. I mean, look at that. That's quite cool. But uh, we're gonna go non. She looks like really out of it. Like just really wide eyes. So we can change the voices. Uh, no voice. So, I can't actually, I don't think it, Hi. oh, there you go. So, if you press spacebar, Hello. no voice, Hello. you can hey. run through the voices based on the character you've created. Hey. Uh, walk style, you can do it. So, you've got a duty belt, so that's sort of walk like you're wearing, you, you know, your duty belt, like so. Obese, appealing, arrogant, heels, normal. We're going to go duty belt. And that's really it. So, now we've done that, you can set it as default so the character will be loaded automatically when opening the menu with a non-free mode character, i.e. character we create. So I'm going to do that. And then once you're done, click save and continue. And then, if you press back, wardrobe, clothing. You don't want them wearing default clothes. So, if you go to wardrobe and create outfit, you can effectively, let me swing the camera around, have full customization over your character. So if you wanted to create Indiana Jones with your little hat, you can do, why not? Again, I want to go for some glasses, so we'll have a look. Look at that, it's quite cool. But uh there's all sorts of things you can throw onto your character here. Yes, earpieces. So I just swing the camera around. Now, if you did want to view these a bit closer, you can also customize your character when you go into a police department and on duty. So for today, uh, I'm going to select my off-duty outfit, which is this one here. But once you're done with your outfit. Make sure you put a name in, otherwise it will not save. And then just press save and continue. And voila! If you want a police outfit, go to EUP Law and Order. Select any department that you like. So LSPD, for example. You've got your different divisions. We're going to go patrol. And we've got all sorts of clothing available to us. So again, you can then save that. By going to wardrobe, create outfit, name the outfit, so if you call it duty, 
and then save and continue at the bottom. And that's really it for EUP. If policing isn't your thing, you're more of a fire rescue person, then that's why we installed serve and rescue. You've got all your different departments here. So if you're a medic, you can say be an EMS. If you prefer fire, you can be a firefighter. If you prefer security or armed forces, you can be, you know, Coast Guard, you've got the Army, you've got Air Force. So there really is no end to what uh, what you can do. You know, you can even be sanitation if you like emptying trash cans or dust bins or rubbish bins. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that really is it. So we are going to go... What's one, two, three? Ah, okay, there we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it for today's video. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure to leave us a thumbs up rating. Don't forget to comment. I will try and get back to all that I can. Leave a subscribe. It really does support the channel and helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my other LSPDFR videos. Thank you all so much for watching today. I do hope you've enjoyed, and I will speak to you all in my next video. Peace.